Welcome back to the channel everyone and if you're new here my name is Victor and today I'll be teaching you how to create simple looking NFTs using only shape layers in After Effects. Alright, open up After Effects and create a new composition. I made mine square format so 1080 height, 1080 width. So before this I looked up some reference photos to help me with my idea because I wanted to do a hand holding a flower because that would be easily customizable. You could change the flower, you could change what's on the hand, you could change the skin color of the hand, you could change the background, all of that. Tons of different customizations, endless possibilities. So I actually brought into the composition one of those reference photos so I could use it to trace the hand because I'm not a great illustrator. But if you are, you could definitely use just what's in your head to create that. So now we need to trace over this image. So you're gonna grab the pen tool, but make sure you have no layer selected. And that will immediately bring up two different icons with colors on them that weren't there before that say fill and stroke. Now you can select colors for your fill and stroke, or you can turn off the fill or turn off the stroke. So I used the color picker and just chose a random color on the hand. So once you make your first point to start tracing, as long as you still have no layers selected, it will auto generate a shape layer. Now once you start tracing, if you realize that you chose the wrong color for the fill or the stroke or you forgot to turn one of them off, don't worry, you can make all those adjustments as long as you have that shape layer selected and you don't have to redo it. Now once you finish outlining the hand, you should have a silhouette of the hand in the color that you chose and then click on that shape layer and hit T on the keyboard to bring up the opacity and we're just going to lower down that opacity so we can still see the reference image and add more detail to the hand. Now again with no layer selected I turned off the fill and turned the stroke to black so that I can create lines as details on the hands. Now if you've never worked with shape layers before this tutorial, something that's different as opposed to masking is that you never have to connect that last point with the first point to round out that mask. You can just hit a point, 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 and just make a line. Now say that you've just created a line as a shape layer, but you wanna create another line. You can do that without creating another shape layer. You could do that two different ways. If you have this line with multiple points, you could click on one of the middle points, as long as it's not the first or the last, and then just click somewhere else, and that will start a new line. Or you can select any other layer in your composition and then go back to that shape layer and just start creating a new point. And then those lines won't be connected if you don't want them to be. Now return the opacity all the way back up to 100% on all of your hand layers, and now we can create a stem by doing the same process by choosing a green color and just making a line stroke. I then added another reference picture of a rose and repeated that process to define the rose. Now we're going to give our our NFT a background so go to layer new solid and choose a color of the solid and make sure you add it to the very bottom of your composition and now we're going to create a gradient on our background so again go to layer new solid and choose a white solid and add it just above the colored background that you just made now grab the ellipse tool and create a basic circle mask on that ellipse tool and it's okay if it's not centered because now we're going to go to the align tab and align it right in the middle now, if you hit MM on your keyboard, that will bring up the mask properties for that layer, or you can just hit MF to bring up the mask feather. I then boosted the mask feather and then adjusted the mask expansion until I got a gradient that I was happy with. Now it's time to add pixelation to our NFT similar to CryptoPunk. So go to layer, new, adjustment layer, and make sure that adjustment layer stays on top of the composition. And now search for the effect called mosaic and add it to the adjustment layer. I I boosted my horizontal blocks to 285 and the vertical blocks to 120 and clicked on sharp colors. And now I'm going to show you how you can create multiple customizations of this NFT, but first let me show you how to export this one. So I like to drag that work area all the way down to one single frame and then go to file, export, add to render queue, give it a name and a location to save it to real quick, and then click on lossless. And then in the format, change it to PNG sequence and then render it out. So now if you wanna make a bunch of different variations to your NFT, go to your hand layers and change the color of the stroke and the fill. Create a different flower and then also search for the effect called fill and add that to your background layer and change the color to anything you want. And now you have an image with a ton of possible variations that you can use as a collectible NFT. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. If you did, leave me a thumbs up, comment what you thought down below, and then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.